What's up everybody, Nate here from Out of the Basement bringing you a brand new action figure review. Today from NECA Toys we are taking a look at the first to retail Walmart colored version of Frankenstein's monster. This is the very first universal monster figure we are getting from NECA. This is a brand new ultimate line of figures. I'm sure most of you have seen they've already announced quite a number of them but this is the first one to come out there is also a black and white version coming out a little bit down the road here uh, but of course as you can see right on the package here it is that sort of iconic poster from way back when and it just looks absolutely fantastic Frankenstein's monster here the Boris Karloff and the logo you can see is a nice shiny finish while the rest of the packaging is a matte look so that just absolutely looks fantastic uh, of course on the side of the package here we have a picture of Frankenstein's monster himself there we also have the Universal Monsters NECA and Real Toys logo at the bottom turning it around to the back here of course there you go it's just some promo pictures of the figure itself and you can see here we get six interchangeable hands three interchangeable heads shackles and daisies so some really nice accessories do come with this Frankenstein's monster as well here and of course there is the other side of the box just another image of the monster on the bottom of course we have the barcode and the people responsible for making the figure on the top we have another Frankenstein logo finally here opening it up we do have the glorious window packaging which you can see the monster and all of the accessories right there and of course a promo image of the figure as well so we're not gonna waste a whole lot of time here we're gonna go ahead we'll take a look at the accessories first and then the figure itself and we'll start out here with the alternate hands so the first set here is sort of some more kind of gripping-esque hands not quite as relaxed as the ones that come on the figure in the packaging here but they do have some really nice sculpt work to them and of course the black nails the paint everything on them the nice little wash it has just looks so fantastic and then we do get some daisy gripping hands here um, you can see that they are definitely built specifically this one I believe is to hold the single daisy and this one is more for the other daisies which I'll show you where there's like uh, two of them of course these hands are of the same quality as well and they look absolutely fantastic uh, moving on here we have our very first daisy here which is a little sloppily painted you can see the yellow isn't quite all the way where it should be um, but from a distance you can't really tell at all and the accessory is extremely tiny and does have some nice sculpt work to it of course you know to me it looks like a daisy so you do get some more green paint there for the stem as well and then you also get two daisies together these are sculpted together of course from the famous scene in the movie but you can see the yellow paint still not the greatest application there but again it gets the point across and I think these accessories serve their purpose well here. Then you do also get a set of plastic shackles, which is pretty awesome here. Of course, real metal chain would have been super dope, but I will take a plastic one. It's not bad. It's definitely passable in my book. I think the uh, shackles here do have some really nice paint application to them as well. And also to put them on, since the shackles do not open themselves, you do have to remove the hand and then of course peg the hand back in and there you go right on there and then of course moving on to the alternate heads here of course we sort of get that uh, grinning kind of look of course from Boris Karloff's performance as the Frankenstein monster an iconic facial expression that NECA absolutely nailed here I mean look at all the fantastic sculpt work there the paint application is fantastic it definitely looks like there are implementing some sort of photoreal style technology if you look very closely at the figure you can sort of see the dots especially around the eyes here and really it just absolutely helps sell this figure there's some really nice details here the mouth is of course sculpted open and you can definitely see some teeth in there as well of course you've got a nice bloody wound there on the forehead 
and the hair is expertly sculpted and expertly painted and yeah there you go you got a little bit of silver there as well so absolutely fantastic work here on this first alternate head then of course we also get like a more angry yelling expression and again fantastic quality here from NECA the likeness to Boris Karloff as the monster is tremendous I just can't get over how good this figure has turned out. I'm definitely on board for some more Universal Monsters from NECA here, if this is anything to go off of. So yeah, check out those clean paint details there. Definitely think NECA using like a photoreal technology is going to help them in the long run, considering how in the past we all know that not all NECA paint apps are created equal. There's some fantastic work and there's some not so great work. So I think the photoreal application probably helps out with the consistency. Of course, we've got the same wound there, and I love that they used like a nice uh, glossy paint there to simulate the blood in the wound, just to really add that extra bit of dimension here. Of course, you can see on mine, yeah, there is a little bit of a paint mistake on this alternate head. That's nothing too major. I mean, I can just fill that in with some black paint. But otherwise, again, another fantastic head sculpt here. So really, you do get pretty much everything you need for a Frankenstein's monster figure. So now I'm just super excited here. Let's go ahead and jump right into the figure. All right, and here is Frankenstein's monster out of the packaging looking absolutely fantastic. This figure is amazing. NECA absolutely knocked it out of the park. For years in my collection, I have been using the original black and white Mezco Frankenstein, which is also a fantastic figure, but it is incredibly small, so I'm happy to have a 7-inch scale version. Of course, I know there was also some Diamond Select stuff, but I never got too into that. But here we go. This is just a great modern action figure version of Frankenstein done by NECA, so you know it looks absolutely movie quality. So let's go ahead and grab this figure off the stand and take a closer look. All right, and starting off right here, of course, this is the head that comes on him in the package. Honestly, my personal favorite head. I kind of just like the blank expression. Looks super iconic to me, and again, just absolutely nailed the likeness of Boris Karloff as the monster. So the same amount of details are present on this head as well. Of course, we can finally see the neck with those lovely iconic bolts in them and that looks wonderful this head also has a little scratch mark there the paint of course does get a little sloppy around the ears again but of course you can't really see that from the front once you have them like this you're like uh, eh, not a big deal at all and then moving down here we of course have the iconic black costume here a nice mix of soft plastic and some hard plastic here the jacket is nice and soft and pliable, so it doesn't really inhibit any articulation there. Of course, we can take a look at the hands here. These are the super relaxed hands that come on him in the package here. You also get some really fine wrist detail there. Of course, throughout the figure, fantastic sculpt work here to represent all the wrinkles and such going on with the figure. We get some nice gross metal bits on the other arm here. Moving down further to the legs here, we do start to get some sort of like dirt grime details going on from the knee down, which does look fantastic and it helps break up just all of the black costuming that we see. And then of course, finally, we have the iconic giant boots that Frankenstein's monster wears and they just look absolutely fantastic. Just really nice sculpt work here from NECA all across the board. There's just a quick look at the back of the figure. The details here are absolutely wonderful, and I think they really nailed the look of the Universal Monster version. So now let's go ahead and take a look at that articulation. And this is where the figure really did start to surprise me here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation for the head there. You can see all the way up, really fantastic work there. And of course, looking down is great as well. The head itself is sort of like the dumbbell joint here. So we got a peg at the base of the neck and then also at the skull there. So tons of movement here. You can, of course, rotate the head around there independently of the neck. You do get plenty of side to side there. So really fantastic head poseability which i definitely think is important when it comes to the monster here the shoulders do move out really far on the figure as well you do of course get rotation around no butterfly joints or anything like that 
but I honestly feel like that would be a little overkill. You do get a single jointed elbow here, which gives you just 90 degrees. And for the hands across the board, you can rotate them and they all are horizontally hinged, which is pretty standard for NECA, unfortunately. For a crunch, the figure can't actually go far. Look at that crunch. When have you ever seen a Frankenstein figure with crunch like that? There is rotation at the waist, and of course you do also still get side to side there as well. As far as the leg is concerned here, of course you can see he can kick out very far. There he is with the foot on the ground. Frank can also do the splits. You do get a little bit of kickback. Of course some creaky, ever so slight thigh swivel there. The single jointed knee here gives you a little less than 90 degrees, and I Still always appreciate how NECA hides that front joint there. Just looks absolutely fantastic. And you do get swivel there as well. And I don't think I said this, but you also get swivel at the elbow. And then finally for the foot here, you do actually get some really nice range going down. Can't really go up at all, but of course you also get peg holes and ankle pivot here. So really articulation wise for a frankenstein's monster figure this is really awesome and of course that mixed with the details this figure is just knocking it out of the park super happy with how this one has turned out so now we're going to go ahead we're going to put the monster back here and i will show you how he scales first up here we'll start out with some other NECA ultimates of course we have the brand new mccready and the friday the 13th remake Jason Voorhees. Of course, we've got to do a NECA turtle here. Whoa. Calm down there, Victor. Then we also have the 8-inch cloth goods Victor Crowley, again from NECA. Of course, we've got to compare him to another iconic movie monster. We've got the Aliens Xenomorph Warrior. Then we have the McFarlane movie maniacs Uber Jason. And last but certainly not least here, we of course have the black and white Mezco 112th Collective Frankenstein and the Diamond Select original creature from the Black Lagoon. So in conclusion here, I think NECA absolutely nailed this figure. A really, really nice offering from them. I'm super happy that this was done so well. I can't wait to start getting some other Universal Monsters in the line as well. And I would definitely recommend if you are a Frankenstein fan to pick this figure up. It's an absolute no-brainer. Right now, this figure is only available at Walmart, but it will be released on a wider scale. And there is also, of course, a black and white version. Again, those will be released a little bit later. But if you want it now, you got to get out there and go hunting at your local Walmart. If you enjoyed my review, don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you are new. We're always talking about action figures here on the channel. Of course, I'm Nate from Out of the Basement. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. <laughs>